Meantime, if you've ever driven on SR-14 in southeast Vancouver during rush hour, you know the traffic can be a major headache. Fortunately, a long-term project completed today should alleviate some of the long commutes. Fox 12's Dylan Scott is live outside of Wash Dot headquarters in Vancouver with the details. Dylan? Pete and Riel, good evening. It took more than three years and $28 million, but officials say a new part-time shoulder lane along State Route 14 will give drivers a safer and quicker commute. So currently it's closed right now, so you see the closed X. When it's open, um, you're gonna see an exit only panel and then a green arrow open to, to traffic. Michael Southwick. Corridor Operations Manager with the Washington State Department of Transportation believes this additional mile and a half of breathing room on State Route 14 between I-205 and Southeast 164th Avenue is a critical improvement in reducing congestion. I hope that they see uh, lower travel times, right? So they're getting to their, their point faster and then also um, moving people out of that lane. I think it's going to eliminate some of the weaving or the merging with um, other vehicles and uh, hopefully we'll see a safety plan. Taking a page out of previous Seattle-based projects, this part-time shoulder lane, the first in the area of the state, will provide drivers additional space to maneuver during busy travel times. The three-plus year, $28 million data-driven expansion will also add a third lane in each direction. I think you're going to see it uh, a lot in the morning, but there's going to be times in the, in the p.m. Um, that you're going to see it um, up and running as well. So essentially any time that there's congestion in that area, we're going to go ahead and open that up so folks can, can uh, travel in that lane. Among the fastest-growing cities in the Pacific Northwest, Vancouver Mayor Ann McInerney Ogle said in a statement that current and future commuters will feel an immediate difference, along with neighboring communities that often see extended traffic due to these delays, leading to smoother and safer daily travel. Travel funded by the Connecting Washington Transportation Package that will go a long way in cutting delays on these roadways. It's backed up every morning, and so there's a need for uh, more capacity in this area. So again, the shoulder now officially in use. The Washington Department of Transportation asked drivers to check those electronic signage uh, labels every day for any potential changes, but they will let you know with plenty of warning when those lanes are open or closed. For now, in Vancouver, Dylan Scott, Fox 12 Oregon.